Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to tackle a question today that I know a number of you guys have been asking and wanting to know. When is the best time to buy Foot Birthday Team 1 cards? Should we be investing in these cards as they are going out of packs tomorrow on Friday? I want to take a look at the Foot Birthday cards as they dropped yesterday a lot in price because we had lightning rounds. Yes, we had lightning rounds on a Wednesday, which we did talk about the potential of that happening in last night's video, and it did. EA are just going all out with the lightning rounds this week with the pack supply. They're dropping so many. It's really an emphasis on the cards in packs, right? You also see that by the lack of really hype SBC content. The cards in packs are what they want people to focus on, and that's why they're running constant lightning rounds. They're even running lightning rounds right now. Uh, in the late night time zone, it's like 2 a.m. UK time at the moment when I'm recording this video, and they are running 86 plus star pack lightning rounds. I'm pretty sure if I go in here in the store and look, browse, promo packs, and yeah, we have the 86 plus packs right now. They're probably going to sell out over the hour right now, even though it's crazy late at night. They didn't drop that many of them and people love those packs. So with those lightning rounds yesterday and with division rivals rewards today with marquee matchup supply hitting the market, I think there is potential for some of these foot birthday cards to drop maybe a little bit more and for us to see a bit of a buy window on these cards today or tomorrow. It might be better off waiting until tomorrow to buy some of these and we'll talk about that in today's video as well. Of course, we have to talk about all the crazy, crazy market movements with these road to the final cards after the insane game yesterday between PSG and Real Madrid. You can see I had some bales that I sold before the game, right? Selling into the hype. Then I also had two bales that I saved for after the game just to see what whatever happened. And of course, Real Madrid had the crazy win. I mean, look at the prices here that I ended up selling Kempembe at 1.58 million coins and 1.56 and now I'm buying Kempembe's tonight for 675k his car has literally dropped more than 50% in price it's unbelievable to see the prices that we see on the market right now I love road to the final cards you, you can't convince me otherwise they are the most fun cards to trade with and the most fun cards in this game I mean they, they really are so we're going to talk about that part of the market today as well as Thursday content and what we would expect to see on this game today. We don't have a lot of information about uh, Foot Birthday Team 2 yet. I was I was expecting more leaks yesterday, to be completely honest, but we will cover the current leaks and situations that we have regarding maybe a promo after Foot Birthday with some Hero Moments cards being talked about a little bit right now too. So we'll talk about that as a part of this video. But first, if you do enjoy the videos on the channel, make sure to hit thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. But let's talk Foot birthday team number one again with the lightning rounds that we saw yesterday it's brought supply to the market and that has dropped these cards take a look at odegaard right he was 600k went all the way down to 530 rose back up a little bit to about 550 and now he's down to 530 again as they're running these late night lightning rounds again as i mentioned with division rivals supply today and you have the marquee matchups i honestly I don't expect to see these cards rise a lot after Division Rivals Rewards. I'm personally not going to be buying any of these cards. Now, the only ones that maybe would be some you might want to buy one or two of and stock in your club, I think this Doku card for 16,000 coins is ridiculously cheap. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills with the pace that he has, uh, the body type that he has, five foot seven with a lot of pace, really high agility balance. I just think that this is a card that a lot of people who are going to run cheap teams are going to want to use. I know he doesn't have the best links, but it's just a really cheap card for a league that doesn't have a ton of right mids, right wings on a really cheap basis that are like new and exciting and fresh. I think that card is a pretty good buy throughout this whole weekend, the next couple days uh, before these cards go out of packs. I think that's one of my number one buys and I feel like almost anybody can afford it, right? Just buy one of those, put it in a transfer list. He might be 25K in two weeks. That sort of thing could happen with a card like that on this game but looking at the rest of this team again Guerrero I, I think there's a lot of potential cards in here that could rise Nuno Mendes right 390,000 coins a PSG left back links a card we haven't had a PSG left back special card that has been this usable for the whole entire year and right this guy's got the five star skills very hyped item I know that we have a Teo Hernandez in the brand new team of the week I think that's a card that will rise out of packs I think Allen is a card that will rise out of packs um, he's got the five-star weak foot, really, really good stats. People love this dude uh, in game. I honestly think there's a, there's a high potential that these cards will hit a low point in the next day or two, 
and then they they will rise out of pack. So the question of should we invest, it's not a bad idea because these full birthday cards with the five star weak foot and the five star skills boost that these cards have, that's automatic hype because that's something that a lot of other cards don't have in this game and other previous special versions of these cards don't have. Like this Jack Grealish, 100,000 coins, that's kind of crazy to me, right? The other, the only other Grealish card is the ones to watch, which is nowhere near this item with 90 pace, 76 physical, and the five-star weak foot. Not saying this car is like insane or anything, but for 100,000 coins, I think this is going to go up out of packs. Now let's talk about buy time, right? I think that today on Thursday with marquee matchups could be a decent buy time for these cards. Even as you're looking at these right now and you're like, man, Nate Odegaard, 500k. Odegaard is one that I think would be a really good investment as well, but I think a lot of people are going to want to look at this Odegaard item and want to buy him up because he looks really, really cracked, and there's so many people excited about this card in this game right now. I mean, honestly, if you see like 500k for this, I think that's, that's a good shout. I, I don't know if he's going to get down to 500k or if he's going to stay in this 520,000 coin range, but again, buy time for these cards. Today at Marquee Matchups, with that pack supply, if they do rise a little bit after rewards today, I think you'll see them kind of dip right back down. During these promos, when they go all out with the packs, like we've seen lightning rounds right now on a random late Wednesday into Thursday morning, I also think there's potential for them to run lightning rounds today on Thursday. They've done it in the past. I think they did it during uh, Team of the Year, maybe during Winter Wild Cards. Lightning rounds on a Thursday is not something we haven't seen before. So just kind of keep that in mind. We might see some more supply on these cards from marquee matchups and potentially more lightning rounds today on Thursday as well. So just keep an eye on that. Now, also, the one thing that I've been mentioning multiple times throughout this week has been, should, be, should we be waiting for Team 2 of Foot Birthday to also look at a few of these cards for an out-of-packs investment rise? Um, we really don't have a lot of leaks for Foot Birthday Team 2 right now at the moment. And that, that was something that I was expecting to see more of uh, yesterday on Wednesday. We don't have any loading screen, which we usually don't get a loading screen for a Team 2. Maybe we'll get one today, teasing some of the cards that could be in Team 2. Um, I would be surprised if we didn't have any more leaks uh, today. But I guess I, I thought we were going to have some yesterday as well. But as of right now, there's not a lot of like hype for team two there's some rumors again from the fakir the dibala there's even rumors about a messy i don't know how true those are uh but that name is being thrown around so until we get some concrete leaks on what team two might be if it sounds like team two is not going to be that good then i would absolutely look at these cards today with marquee matchups if they do lightning rounds keep an eye on those prices today but if team two seems really really hype and it seems like there might be a lot of good content tomorrow with Foot Birthday Team 2, then what I would honestly be thinking of doing is waiting to get these cards until tomorrow on Friday uh, and waiting until the content drop, even after they go out of packs, like for that first hour where Team 1 goes out of packs and Team 2 comes into packs. I don't think that's going to make a whole lot of difference on these cards' prices. I really don't think waiting between today on Thursday or tomorrow on Friday as well is going to is going to change a lot, you know? If Grealish goes down to 100k at his absolute low and then tomorrow on Friday he's like 105,000 coins, that's a 5,000 coin difference. You know, if he goes up to 130 or 140 in the next week, you won't care about that 5,000 coin difference in that one week time span where he went up 40,000 coins. You know what I'm trying to say? So, I think that, you know, the risk is is lower than the potential, you know, fear of missing out, I guess you could say, right? So for a lot of these cards, I think I might wait until Friday morning, see what happens. People are going to open their weekend league rewards Friday morning as well. So these cards will get a little bit of supply since people get their weekend league rewards so early. And we see team of the week cards start dropping on Friday as well. Um, you know, I would honestly wait on these guys till Friday, unless it looks like Team 2, if there's leaks released, unless it looks like Team 2 is not good at all. And some of those names that we thought were going to be in are not actually going to be in the team. That's the only thing that I would say maybe you look for uh, today on Thursday with the marquee matchups and stuff like that. Now, especially on some of your higher tier and rare cards, again, if we do get a Dybala, if we get a Fakir or a Firmino, right? A Firmino would be a card that would possibly make this Odegaard drop a little bit, right? Because if we get a Firmino, it would probably also be five star, five star, get that weak foot upgrade. And then bang, all of a sudden you have maybe another competition item, another center attacking mid in the Premier League where people would try to use a Firmino and maybe sell their Odegaard 
instead, right? That's the kind of thing. And another reason why we maybe want to wait for team two to get released and to get talked about um, or leaked before we go in on some of these football day cards. But again, I do, I do think there's a potential that these cards will rise out of packs just because again, the five-star skills, the five-star weak foot, these cards are just really cheap in general. Like look at all these guys that are 20 K Torreya is a great card for 20,000 coins. Guerrero, Ruben Bezo, Bibu, Di Lorenzo is a insane price for that kind of stats for a Serie A right back. Doku, I think is really, really good as well. Grealish, I think is cheap. Even this Cristiano Ronaldo foot birthday, um, he, he's up a little bit right now because of rarity. But yesterday, this guy was like 4.6 mil, 4.61 he was uh, even down towards almost like dipping almost into 4.5 mil range. I would keep a really close eye on this card too. If he's down in like the, the 4.5, 4.6 on the PlayStation um, and on the Xbox, it looks like 3.9 under 3.9 is pretty good for him. I would pull the trigger if that's a card that you want to have in your team for a long while after these go out of packs. Um, of course, team of the season is still like a month, month and a half away. So they will drop at some point, but... Again, I think these cards are going to be the hype cards that people want to use for the next two to three weeks. And I think that could mean a rise out of packs for these items. So just kind of keep that in mind. I know we talked about that a lot, um, but foot birthday cards have historically done very, very well out of packs because they're hyped. Again, like we just talked about, um, and people want to use them because they are very good in game and the boosts are pretty solid and the skill move weak foot upgrade. So that's that. Now we talked about a little bit about today's content with like marquee matchups and stuff like that. What else could we be seeing today? Uh, of course, marquee matchups is something that we would 100% expect to see. Probably another token SBC. We had the foot 16 SBC yesterday or some way of them giving us a token. We haven't had a party bag. We haven't had an upgrade SBC. We haven't had anything like that this whole entire week besides some icon upgrades. It's been a really quiet week for the SBC content. Maybe that changes today. Maybe. Uh, maybe they give us like an 84 plus player pick or an 85 upgrade, something along those lines. We could see something like that today. A lot of times EA dropped those on Thursdays like they did last week to you know give you some gamble pack to do right before a new promo is out. They know that they're giving people packs today from Division Rivals rewards. So people have some extra fodder in the club as well. So maybe today we'll finally get and SBC like that as well. And they've continued every single day with the player SBCs. We had Laner yesterday, which again is a decent card, but for a lot of people, not that great, not that hype. So I would imagine that we would get another player SBC yet again today on Thursday. Not entirely sure who that's going to be, but we do have a couple leaks uh, related to foot birthday team two and maybe some SBCs coming this weekend. So I do want to share some of this information with you uh, because this could be a decent card. Again, it doesn't look insane. Uh, foot birthday Coquelin, Club 80, Hullet Gang, as it is known, five-star weak foot, um, which is actually kind of decent for a card like this. Going to be able to pass with either foot. His card is, he's kind of going to be like a B-Tech Conte almost, if you will. He's got the five, nine, I think he's five, nine or five, seven. So he's a bit of a shorter build, higher agility balance with the boost that he's going to get. He has actually a pretty nice pace split. So I know 82 pace doesn't look that good, but this card is not bad. If they make this SBC pretty cheap, then there's some hype there for an SBC like this. Although it does say it might be released on the weekend. Uh, these stats are a prediction as well. So kind of reminds me of the Etienne Capu that we had earlier this year, but better stats. So hopefully that is something that we see as maybe the SBC is turning around a little bit and they give the stats on these cards, they give them a little bit more of a boost. That's what we can hope for. Um, and that could be part of our content today on Thursday with another player SBC most likely dropping on the game today. So that's kind of all the foot birthday market stuff that's going on right now. Yesterday, we had the um, prime mid or prime player pick, which was actually almost the exact same price as the mid icon player pick, 579,000 coins. Again, 44% upvote, 56% downvote. It is what it is. SBC fodder didn't really move that much. And now with these late night lightning rounds, it's dropping a little bit again. You see 86 is at 16K. You know, 87s are at 20K. 88s are at 30,000 coins. These were up a little bit yesterday, right around the time of the SBC. Now they're down just a little bit um, because of the supply that has been coming in on the market for some of these cards. Um, you know, maybe they rise, maybe fodder rises a little bit today if people get their rewards, go out and do some SBCs. But again, with the supply that's happening, I don't think it's gonna move that much. We just need better SBC content to see this stuff go up. Could it go a little bit lower? 
there's potential that it could go a little bit lower today. Um, you know, after marquee matchups, maybe tomorrow morning on Friday and with the pack supply tomorrow, this could be like, if you have some of these cards, maybe you invest some more for hopefully some SBCs that are better next week. Uh, let's be honest, right? It can only get better from what it's been this week. Yes, we've had consistent SBCs, but they've really not been good. Look at these, look at these percentage completions, right? 9% upvote on Mob Didi, 18% upvote. Of course, Timber was really good. And Dombele, 11% upvote. Mkhitaryan was pretty good. So it's just most most of these SBCs are missing the mark and not hitting the mark. And that's why you don't see fodder really doing that well this week. Now, let's talk about the market in general because we can't talk about yesterday and what is going on with this game without road to the final cards. Um, yes, we do have a brand new team of the week that was affected by lightning rounds. Uh, some of these cards actually went up after that supply. I flipped a bunch of tail Hernandez from like 320 to 370. That was a pretty good flip. But these cards are the cards of the hour right now. Gareth Bale going to a 91 rated card. Just to show you how the upgrades are going to work after yesterday's game. This is how it's going to go. Kempembe is no longer live. No upgrades for him. Gareth Bale's getting a plus two because Real Madrid won their first knockout game um, since the promo was live. The, the first game, the first leg of PSG Real Madrid was played before Road to the Final started. So Real Madrid won the game and they advanced to the next round. That's a plus two upgrade. And uh, so this Gareth Bale is, of course, up a ton in price. This, these, these price movements, again, as I said, these are the best cards in the game to trade with, right? Gareth Bale was 250 pregame. I sold a couple of them here at 250. Um, he went down to 180K after Mbappe scored, and it was 1-0 PSG at halftime. Bale was 180,000 coins. He spiked to 400 K after the third Benzema goal when basically they locked in the advantage and going on to the next round and that plus two upgrade. So a huge, he literally was swinging in a price like absolutely crazy yesterday. It was, it was mad. A ton of people lost coins on this Gareth Bale card. And then also a ton of people made coins. There was so much coin losing and making yesterday on the market with these cards. It's wild, right? So this card is very up because his team won Real Madrid. But then the flip side of this is Kempembe is down horrendous and people are losing millions on this Kempembe card. He's actually up from where he was. I bought a bunch of these under 700K actually about 15, 20 minutes ago and he is rising because the panic selling has kind of ended people that bought these cards to hopefully see them get upgraded and rise. This card is now kind of rebounding from that. And I think that this guy was just getting too cheap. All right. Even if this card does not upgrade anymore, he is one of the most hyped and popular center backs on the game. Uh, Lacroix is like another center back that is kind of in his realm of hype. Yes, his stats look really good with the 93 pace, but Kempembe is just so overpowered in this game. This card being less than that Lacroix for me was like, okay, He's getting to be a little bit cheap on the market, in my opinion, because people know Kempembe is so freaking good in this game. So he's starting to rebound back. I still think he's going to go probably somewhere around the range of like almost 800K. I think he could get back to that price. So just kind of keep a watch on this Kempembe. But he was, again, one point. Um, I, I literally, I bought a Kempembe at 1399. I bought two of them yesterday. After Mbappe scored, he went from 1.39 all the way to one point. Uh, 5 8 1.6 basically and then of course when Real Madrid started scoring he went down more than 50 percent in price which was ridiculous to see but that's how it goes with these road to the final cards now also Manchester City couldn't score a goal yesterday against the team they scored five in in the first leg so Mares is only getting a plus one and similarly with the Mane card if you guys remember, right, Inter beat Liverpool in the second leg and Mane dropped off a lot in price. Mares had almost the exact same thing happen. Now, they, they didn't lose. They drew. But instead of getting a plus two, this card is now only getting a plus one. So he was like 1.05 mil. 1.045 is where I sold mine yesterday, I think. Um, and now he's down to 900K because he's going to get a plus one, but not the plus two that people were hoping that he would get from the game yesterday. Now, there's one more game from yesterday that is actually giving us a very peculiar upgrade. This Denayer, Jason Denayer rode to the final. This was the first game that Lyon played because they got like the buy uh, from the, the way that the Europa League works. It's like seeded this year. They were not in the playoffs uh, to get into the knockout stages. So this was their first game against Porto. 
and they won the game. That's the only upgrade that this Denayer is getting. Since they won the game, he is getting a plus one, but since Denayer is an 84 rated card, he actually gets a plus two boost, right? It's the same thing that we always see when a card is 84 rated and gets an inform, they get an 86 rated inform. So a plus one boost for an 84 rated card is actually a plus two. And that is why this Denayer is gonna turn into an 86, most likely Friday night, when I think they would upgrade these cards after this week's sets of games. I really hope that they don't wait until next week to do it. I hope they do it this week. We'll have to see, of course, um, to see what they do. Because, of course, next week we have some more games um, in Champions League, Europa League, and all that good stuff. So they might wait to do it until next week. That would be an L if they do. But as early as Friday night, this Denayer could get upgraded, and he is up big. He's like 140,000 coins after being 90K because people see this card after a plus two and like, oh my goodness, that is cracked, which it is. Statistically, that card looks really really good. So that's kind of how all the road to the final cards are moving on the market at this moment. And you know, some of these other ones have dropped off because of the craziness of all that happened yesterday uh, with Kempembe and Bale. Um, and some of these cards too, again, a lot of people seem to not realize that these cards are not live. These are road to the knockouts. And I know it's confusing. And this is honestly EA's fault to blame here. But this Rodrigo went from 150k to 230. He's not getting upgraded because this was a card that only got upgraded for the group stages, not the knockout stages. So again, um, I actually went out on the market and bought some Marquinhos. Uh, I bought some Marquinhos right here. Yeah, right around this price at like 580 to 590 because this dude yesterday was 750,000 coins. Uh, and he dropped all the way down to 590. Now, part, part, a part of this drop could be the fact that Kempembe dropped so much in price so people might be selling this Marquinhos to go use Kempembe because they can now afford him. Maybe that's the case. A little bit involved in there. But um, those Road to the Knockout cards are, are not upgraded. There's a big difference. So just in case you were unaware, Road to the Knockouts, we've already reached the Knockouts, right? So those cards like Bernardo Silva, Fakir, no longer live. Uh, but a lot of people yesterday thought that they were, and that's why you saw the movements in price that you did. Now, man, I keep watching this Kempembe, and this dude, I know it's rare late at nighttime heading into today on Thursday, but this dude is getting very rare, 740, 738, 739. Um, you see this card rising up. Actually, he's up like 60K from where he was. So we're in the profit very nicely on Kempembe at the moment. I'm probably going to wait on that a little bit more into today. Also, last night I bought some Mane's uh, in the 145 range because this guy, yeah, look how rare this guy is, bro. People are going to wake up today, buy him back up. I think he's going to be close to 1.6 mil again, as you can see. I think a lot of people agree with me. You see, this is a, a trader right here buying the card, listing it up without playing any games. Another one right there listed for six hours overnight. And you can see some of these 1.58s in here. Yeah, so this Mane card dropped off. Renato Sanchez was down. It's like a lot of those live items dropped off yesterday on the market because of all the craziness that was happening and, and everything that was moving on. It, it was just wild. Yesterday was just an absolutely crazy day for these cards on the market. So the market's still in a very healthy place though, right? I know that there's been... A lot of coin losses on these road to the final cards, um, but with all the pack supply that we have seen, um, you know, people are people have coins on this game right now. People have SBC fodder, and they're just waiting for content to get involved that they want to do stuff with, and we just haven't had that much of it in the past couple of days. So I really don't expect anything crazy unless we have some wild, wild leaks for Foot Birthday Team 2. I feel like a lot of these cards are going to stay, you know, not not stagnant, but they're going to stay at healthy prices. And I don't think you're going to see anything drop off tremendously unless we have some really, really big leaks. Uh, and that would be like the only thing, in my opinion, that would make a lot of these cards drop off in price. So I feel confident trading today with the rewards market. A lot of these special cards fluctuate in price. Um, wow, Goretzka 318. What's up with this? Yeah, okay, that's an undercut. But, you know, this Goretzka, you could probably buy him right now and sell him tomorrow after rewards at like 350. He was 358 yesterday, dropped down a little bit with all the stuff that was going on. So, you know, that would be the stuff that I'd be looking for on the market right now is trading and flipping with some of these out of pack special cards. This Salah 
1.06. He's down a little bit. I'm pretty sure yesterday he was 1.14. Yeah, 1.1s. He was down to almost a million coins flat. So, you know, cards like this, you're going to be able to continue to trade. Since the content has been slow, that's just going to create more opportunities for market movements because people are going to be going out and trying cards that are on the market. They're not going to be going and doing SBCs or draining their club of coins from doing other stuff because the focus is on the cards on the market. And again, the focus is also on this weekend and, and full birthday team too. Is the team going to be cracked? What kind of content are we going to see? The swap rewards are finally going to come out this Friday as well. If you've been collecting these tokens, we'll be able to turn those in on Friday in this game. So that's going to be the video for today, boys. I know we talked a lot about market. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them down below in the comments. Uh, but hopefully we learn a little bit more about foot birthday team two today, maybe a loading screen. I wouldn't expect it, but there's a little bit of potential. I suppose if EA want to tease some cards, if we don't have anything crazy leaked. Oh, last thing I have to talk about this. I didn't talk about the, uh, the hero moment stuff that I said I was going to do really fast at the end. I know this video is maybe getting a bit long, um, but this is not for a promo that is going to be this Friday. I believe this is going to be for an upcoming promo. Uh, we have leaks that hero moments have been added some upgrades and they can finally be good cards. Uh, that foot captains promo that we talked about a couple weeks ago, sounds like this is kind of being continued with some of these leaks. Um, and this is really interesting for this leak here. He says Milito, who is of course a hero card in the Serie A, it says Milito Hero Moments will probably be La Liga. I got told his moments is for when he was on Zaragoza, um, which was in La Liga at the time. So that just gives us the thought process that some of these cards that are hero items like Ginola, you see here, uh, right here, Ginola might get a you know, a hero moments card from his days in the Premier League with Spurs, right? Imagine a Ginola moments uh, hero item that is like, instead of League Gun, instead of it's, imagine it's Premier League, right? Imagine some of that stuff for some of these cards. That'd be pretty cracked, pretty cool um, for some of these hero cards to get upgrades. That's the biggest thing. Heroes need to be upgraded. We need these new versions of these cards, especially as we're at icon moment stage now with the icons. Uh, these heroes need to get upgraded as well because they are falling behind the curve just a little bit on this game, in my opinion, as well. So, Crazy, crazy market movements to talk about right now. A lot of foot birthday stuff. We will see what EA does today on Thursday with lightning rounds, with the supply, with the content. And if we have leaks about foot birthday team too, we'll be talking about those live on stream. Make sure you check that link down below in the description. So it's a crazy day on the market. We did make a lot of coins. It feels good. I know a lot of people lost coins as well. Don't give up. If you did, there's going to be good. There's going to be bad. It comes and goes valleys and peaks, right? That's keep moving through the market. Don't get demotivated. If that was you look for more profit opportunities, because there's a lot of them out there right now with the focus being on not a lot of content for SBCs and a lot of stuff on the market. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.